गुड इवनिंग गाइस कैसे हैं सब लोग हाउ यू आई एम डूइंग फाइन बहुत मजा आ रहा है वीडियोस बना के कैसा लग रहा है आप सबको इट्स वी आर मेकिंग नाइस वीडियोस एवरी डे कुछ अलग सा हम कर रहे हैं हर वीडियो में सो टूडेज वीडियो इज आल्सो गोन बी द सेम वे कुछ अलग ही होगा आज की वीडियो में सो समथिंग दैट यू हैव नीन बिफोर ओके सो इन द लास्ट क्लास आई गेव यू गाइज अ क्वेश्चन है ना आपको मैंने लास्ट क्लास में क्वेश्चन दिया था विच वॉज ऑन सिमसन लाइन तो बेसिकली द थर्ड ऑफ द डे द क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेव वॉज दिस इफ द परपेंडिकुलर एक्सेल ऑन द साइड बी सी ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी मीट्स द सर्कम सर्कल अगेन एट एल देन प्रूव दैट ए एल इज पैरल टू द सिमसन लाइन ऑफ एक्स सो दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज गिवन इन द लास्ट क्लास तो इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने के लिए हम एक बार वी विल स्टडी सिमसन वॉलिस लाइन तो वट इज दिस लाइन लेट्स ट्राई टू एनालाइज इट होता क्या है ये सो विल स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द लाइन सो बेसिकली अ सिमसन वॉलिस लाइन इज नथिंग बट दिस काइंड इट्स इज जस्ट अ लाइन ओके तो बेसिकली मैं क्या करूंगा आई एल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू हाउ इट वर्क एंड आई ऑल्सो शो यू कि वाई दिस इज वर्किंग लाइक दैट ओके इट्स गोट बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टेट यू सो लाइक लेट से If I have a triangle ABC, if I have a triangle ABC, and if I draw the circum circle to this triangle, so we have our triangle ABC. I'm drawing the circum circle, and after I've drawn the circum circle, I'm choosing a point D. I'm choosing a point D on the circum circle. Now, after I've chosen this point D on the circum circle, what I'll do is. I will draw perpendicular lines from point D to all the sides of the triangle. Okay, so basically, if I have the point D here, मैं क्या करूँगा? I'll draw a perpendicular line to the base, which is BC. So I draw one perpendicular, and it intersects at G. The other one is, if I draw a uh, the perpendicular line from D to this line AC. it will intersect at f okay and if i draw another perpendicular line uh, to ab it intersects at e okay so basically e g and f are the foot of the perpendicular from point d so point d se hum perpendiculars draw kar rahe hain and they are intersecting the sides at these three points g e and f now the amazing thing is which you know uh, it's it's almost uh, surprising that all these three points all these three foot of the perpendicular points pass through the same line that means all these three points are collinear so if you observe this red line this red line is nothing but uh, the line which is composed of the points which are foot of perpendicular g uh, e and f okay so this is what simpson wallis line is basically if i repeat it the feet uh, so the feet g f and e so g f and e of the perpendiculars on the sides bc ca and ab of any triangle abc from any point d so the point on the circum circle is d on the circum circle of the triangles are collinear so this is what the line is and that is what the triangle and the circle shows uh, the property of okay now what we'll do is we'll try to draw it real time okay so i have this software i have this math software that we can use and uh, <coughs> using that software we'll try to draw it so this is uh, the whole screen what i'll do first is i'll draw my triangle okay so i'll draw a line so basically i'll take three points first i have ab theek hai you can see ab from b i'll take one more point c and uh, i'll join c and a so that becomes a triangle obviously the sides are extended so that i can find the foot of the perpendicular okay now next step would be to draw a circum circle around this triangle so to draw a circum circle we need three points and i can use these three points which are the vertex so i'll take my circle and i'll draw circle through three points 
I have a point A, I have a point B, and I have a point C. So here you can see the circle. Okay, this is the circum circle. Now what I'll do is I'll choose a point on my circum circle, a random point. I chose a point B, and I'll uh, I'll try to draw perpendiculars from this point D to all the sides of the triangle. Okay. So if I uh, choose the option of drawing a perpendicular line, I will take my point D and I'll draw one perpendicular to AB. Again, I'll choose the point D and I'll draw another perpendicular line to BC and I'll take the point D again and I'll draw another perpendicular line to a AC. Now you notice that uh, on AC, the perpendicular is here. That is because that is why I've extended the side so that we can find the perpendiculars and where they are intersecting the sides. Okay, so now once you have this uh, configuration, let me just move it a little. Yeah, hmm. I hope everyone can see it properly. I'll just repeat what are the points that I've taken, what I've done till now. I have taken a triangle ABC, I've drawn a circumcenter. After that, I've taken a point D on the circumcenter, and from this point D, I've drawn three perpendiculars to the sides of the triangle. So those points, I'll find the point of intersection of the perpendiculars and the sides. So from point D, I draw a line perpendicular to BC. Okay, so it intersects at E. Similarly, if I take the point D and I draw a line uh, perpendicular yeah if I find the point of intersection of this point and this line no wait yeah so basically now what we'll do is so I'm finding the point of intersection from point D I'm drawing a line perpendicular to AC okay yeah so basically this line and this line, they intersect at this point F. Yeah. So first intersection would be this line, this perpendicular line to the base BC that intersects at the point E. Okay. This line from point D, okay. This is intersecting AB at this point. So this is point F. Okay, the, these are the foot of the perpendiculars, okay? Again, I'll take my line. Yeah, I'll take my line and this line. And this is the last point, the foot of the perpendicular, okay? So according to the simpson waltz wallace line, it says that all the foot of the perpendiculars from the point D should lie on a line. All these three points should be collinear. So let's check. So all the three points which were supposed to be collinear are E, F and G. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll try, I'll try to draw a line from by taking any two points. And if it passes through the third point also, then I can say that the line is collinear. Okay. So if I take the first point and the second point and I draw a line, this line also passes through E. So this is what the theorem was telling. Okay. So we have uh, mathematically seen, you know, because this software follows all the mathematical uh, parameters that you're supposed to. And it shows that you have proved the theorem intuitively using the software. Okay. Now I'll show you something very interesting. Okay. What I'll do is, I'll take this line. So this line is called the simpson wallace line. Okay. So I'll take this line. So I'll change the color to, let's say, red. Okay. So I change, so this line, this red line is your simpson wallace line. Okay. Now what I'll do is, I have switched on the trace of this line. By trace, I mean as I move my point D, because point D could be any point on the circumcircle. Okay, you could take any point and you'll always find a Simpson line. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll try to move this point D 
and I will see how the line moves. What is the path that is traveled by the Simpson Wallace line? And let's see, uh, this is what you observe. So this red thing is nothing but the Simpson Wallace line as you're moving point D, how the line is moving. Okay. So this is very interesting. It makes a pattern which is something like this. And this is your Simpson Wallace line. So the animation is really satisfying. So this red thing is nothing but the path that is traced by the Simpson Wallace line as the point D moves along the circle. Okay. And you observe a pattern which is something like this. Now, if you could, you know, if you wanted to know the pattern or if you wanted to know what kind of path the Simpson Wallace line follows, you wouldn't be able to find it out using your uh, normal pen and notebook. You can't solve it and find it out. So this software gives you a kind of intuition as to how you can, you know, use your mathematics, which is all theoretical and apply that, you know, in something which is very graphical. It is very intuitive. You can understand it. Okay, so this is very interesting. So this is your Simpson Wallace line. Yeah. Now, since I've understood this line, let's come back to our problem. So our question was, if the perpendicular XL on the side BC of a triangle ABC meets the circumcircle again at L, then prove that AL is parallel to the Simpson line of X. We had to solve this question. We understood what the Simpson Wallace line is. Let's try to solve the question once you know what the line is. So basically, I made the figure. I have the triangle ABC and uh, I have the point X from where I'm drawing the perpendiculars to all the sides. Okay. It is intersecting BC at L. Okay. I'm extending it and it intersects the circle at L dash. Okay. We have to prove that AL is parallel to the Simpson line. So here the Simpson line is The line is N, M and L. This line. This line is the Simpson line. And we have to prove that this line is parallel to AL dash. AL dash ki line is parallel. So how do we do it? Okay. So it's pretty simple. What you need to do is, you need to first see that obviously this is 90 degree uh, because from point X I'm drawing the perpendiculars. Okay. Now if you notice uh, from point X, XMC is 90 degree angle. XLC is also 90 degree angle. So can you say, can you say that this point is our point? X, X, M, L, C. This is nothing but a cyclic quadrilateral in which XC is the diameter. Hey na? Because the diameter subtends an angle of 90 degree on the circle. Okay, so XMLC is a cyclic quadrilateral. So we have to know this. The other thing that you can notice here is that the angle XCA and XL-A they are equal. Okay. Dono equal. Hai. Both of them are equal. Because they are the angles subtended by the same arc. And we also came to know that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. So if it is a cyclic quadrilateral, you can say that angle XCA. Jo angle XCA hai. Ye jo angle hai. That will be equal to XLM. Because you observe that this is another circle that is happening. Ek or circle aisa kuch ban hai. So XC subtending, uh, XM is subtending an angle of something here at C. And it is also subtending an angle here. Thik hai, at point L. So ye dono angles hi barabar honge. And from there you can say that agar ye iske barabar hai and ye iske barabar hai. Then they both should be equal. And if they are equal, that is angle X. L dash A, this angle, and angle X L A M, this angle. If you observe their corresponding angles, and if they are equal, then you can say that the Simpson line 
and the line AL dash, both of them are supposed to be equal. Hence, you can prove this question. Okay, so this was your question, tha, uh, which was your thought of the day. The next question that we have as your bonus question. In this class, there will be a bonus question. Hoga. I'm not asking you much to do. Just try to figure this question out. Okay? Uh, yeah. So basically, this question was given in the last class. Matches are arranged to form the figure shown. Move two matches to change the figure into four square with the sides equal to one match. So we have squares banane hai. four so that aur unka length kitna hona chahiye ek matchstick jitna so these are all matchsticks theek hai we could remove any matchstick or we could move them and place it somewhere else okay so the right answer for this question is something like this i am moving this matchstick and i am moving it here sorry i am moving this matchstick here okay and i am moving this matchstick here ये वाला मैचस्टिक तो चला गया भाई यहां पे और ये वाला मैचस्टिक चला गया ऊपर एंड यू हैव फोर स्क्वायर्स फोर इक्वल स्क्वायर्स एंड दैट इज योर आंसर ओके सो दैट वाज ग्रेट सेशन गाइस बहुत मजा आया आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन कीप कमेंटिंग आपको पसंद आया कि नहीं कीप लाइकिंग द सेशन एंड लेट मी नो इन फ्यूचर सेशंस आपको क्या कंटेंट चाहिए एंड प्लीज कीप फॉलोइंग बाय गाइस